captain's log, star date 3143.3. I wish my next decisions were no more difficult. This hearing is now in session. Under the authority vested in me by Starfleet Command, I declare all charges and specifications in this matter have been dropped. Mr. Spark, I believe our heading takes us near the Sete Alpha star system. Quite correct, Captain. Planet number five there is habitable, although a bit savage, somewhat inhospitable. Can you tame a world? Have you ever read Milton, Captain? Yes. Lieutenant Marla McGavins. Given a choice of court-martial or accompanying them there, a struggle at first even to stay alive, to find food. I'll go with him, sir. A superior woman. I will take her. And I've gotten something else I wanted. The world to win, an empire to build. This hearing is closed. We've arrived. I'll allow you the honor, sir. Gracious to the last, Captain. I thank you. The first six months. It's so beautiful. It will do. Mr. Trevor, go inform your security team to go ahead and allow the rest of Khan's people to exit the ship. Isa, are you sure about this, Captain? Just letting him go, after what he did. And the alternative is better, Mr. Scott. You saw how quickly he was able to gain control of the Enterprise. Who's to say a re-education centre wouldn't be just as easy? Or a starbase, for that matter. I'd much rather have Khan ruling his small corner of the galaxy than actively trying to deprive us of ours. Yes, this is a good place to begin. The forests will provide shelter. And I can see the river from here. Well, I was able to keep the ship running long enough to land her, but she'll never fly again, that much is sure. The makeshift tractor beam I hooked up to get the cargo containers down is just about burned out as well. However, I managed to convert the engines into a power generator, so you should be able to put that to good use as long as the fuel holds out, and the insulated hull of the cargo containers will make for a fine shelter while you're getting started. Thank you, Lieutenant Commander Scott. Your assistance is most appreciated. Is there anything else you think you'll be needing? I believe I have everything I will require. Khan, best of luck to you and your people. I will not require luck, Captain, but I appreciate the sentiment nonetheless. Enterprise, this is the Captain. Four to beam up. And good riddance, I say. I can't believe they are abandoning us here. They have left us here to die. Is this the future we left Earth for? 
Damn you, Kirk! Coward! Damas, I would not have you curse the generosity of the crew of the Enterprise. We may be the superior, but James Kirk bested me. He is no man's inferior. Considering that we tried to take over Kirk's ship. It was more than gracious of him to leave us here with the contents of these cargo containers to help us establish our new home. Did we not head out from Earth looking for a new beginning? Just look at this place! It is all we could have dreamed of and more. It may not be the Starship Enterprise, but it is good enough. You must learn to seize the opportunities presented to you, Tomas, even if they are not perfectly the ones you expected. I stand corrected, sir. There is indeed much for us here. Excellent. Let us unload our materials and get to work. He seems discouraged, sir. He'll get over it. What about you, Joachim? I am adjusting to our new opportunities. I know how much you wanted the Enterprise. It is truly an impressive vessel. But here, here, you will help me tame a planet and build an empire. I know I will be strong. I know you will. Now go. Help the others. I will join you shortly. How did it all come to this? Once, another lifetime ago, I was a king. The product of selective breeding and genetic engineering, my people were born to rule. And so we did. A quarter of the world lay at my feet, with my brethren in turn controlling dozens of nations. But before I could consolidate my reign, humanity lashed out against us. And with no single voice giving the orders, my brethren lost control of their nations, one by one. In Bolden, the world turned its attention to me. I chose the only option left, escape. With 84 of my people, I elected to leave the planet rather than see it fall back into the hands of the inferior. The vessel was a sleeper ship designed to place the crew in suspended animation for the long periods required for interstellar travel. Our destination? A new world to conquer. I would later learn that our ship would continue on its course for nearly three centuries until it was discovered by an Earth vessel, now able to travel at speeds far greater than our own. I was revived by her crew, who were understandably curious at their discovery. I quickly surmised that although there had been much technological advancement in the intervening years, when it came to man himself, very little had changed. I swiftly made myself aware of the new world around me. There was much to do. Only one of the crew was worthy of my attention. The ship's historian, Amala MacGyvers. I made her mine. With her assistance, I was able to revive my people from their slumber. It was remarkably easy to seize control of their vessel I offered them the opportunity to serve me, but like their forefathers so many years ago, they remained too blind to follow. I will admit, their captain was more able than I had originally surmised. Captain Kirk took advantage of my miscalculation, and I was, for the first time in my life, defeated. To his credit, Kirk saw the uselessness of attempting to punish me, and instead offered my people another option, life in exile on an uninhabited world. What some would call exile. I shall make a kingdom, an empire that will one day stride the stars themselves. We will start from our landing place here, and explore outwards in all directions looking for resources to exploit. 
I want you to report back on possible sources for food and water, as well as useful materials for construction. Remember, this is an untamed, hostile environment. Be wary. Each of you is our most important resource right now. Protect yourselves. Be confident, but not foolhardy. Khan. You are beautiful. What of this? The second month. Beautiful. Withdraw! Withdraw! They warned us that this would be a dangerous place. But we will conquer this world, have no doubt. It's going to be difficult, isn't it? I will not tolerate a lack of confidence on your part. Khan! Wait! The third month. Ah! Your king! A lesson for us all in our new home, Joachim. One must be certain to step carefully. <coughs> the sixth month. You see? This is a good world. It will provide us with all our needs. Already, we no longer need to depend on our old ship and these... Federation boxes to shelter us, and we have learned how to provide for ourselves amply. Where now you see only crude cabins, someday our children will see a city, and our grandchildren will see a great metropolis. Come, 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 come. Feast tonight and rest well. And tomorrow we shall return to the work we were born to. Building our empire. Khan, listen to the people. Your people. Look at what you've accomplished already. The colony's safe and thriving, thanks to you, a man of history. This is nothing, barely the beginning of what we will accomplish. I never doubted you, Khan. And there's nowhere in the universe I would rather be. Uli, the superior woman.
What is this? To be continued. Please like and subscribe.